Hello, how you doing today? My name is Frank Conaway Jr. And I like to call this the Hidden Master Series. It's been a long time waiting to communicate with you on various subjects. Basically, I would call them metaphysics. More specifically, I uh, became involved in what you could call biblical metaphysics. We'll go a little bit further into that later. This is basically an introduction. I like to put my glasses on. I do know that it's going to have a blue light feedback. And it almost looks like some sort of cyborg vision, but see what I mean? This is the new age. And I have to look at the screen and look at myself, so I find it very interesting. So what are we going to talk about now? Well, let's start with a little bit of Egyptology. I have a book that's called Christian Kundalini and Science Proof of the Soul Cryptogram Solution of Egyptian Stellar 55001 and Opening the Hood of Ra. 55001 Stela, actually, S T E L A, Stela, actually kind of means tombstone. 55001, I believe, is the catalog number for the item that's listed. So it's 55,001 item that they've taken from Egypt, actually. And this is what the book looks like. There's my name. ISBN number 978-0-578-10079-1. And it says in my first text titled Baptist Gnostic Christian Ebonic Kudalinian Spiritual key do hermeneutic metaphysics and then the ISBN number. I discussed the biblical science of the brazen serpent passed down through Moses um, in the relevant Judean science. That's just part of what the back cover says. So, and you can go online and find it read all that for yourself and I refer to my first book which is the Baptist Gnostic Christian Ebonic Kundalini Spiritual Keto Hermeneutic Metaphysics which is this and I like this one. that's ISBN number 0-595-20678-6 and what you have in the title are the several disciplines that were needed in order for me to understand come to understanding and deal with the exercise given, given in the Bible under what is called the book of the revelation but actually the term the revelation is speaking about what has been revealed that would be afterwards after what has been revealed has been experienced 
then it becomes a revelation. Basically, before that, it's to an apocalypse. A reason why I'm telling you this is because it's very important that you be careful and mindful in your studies of the multiple meanings and changing of meanings of words. For example, go find J Street in Washington, D.C. Right. So anyway, this is basic introduction I just wanted to give you. Now, this first book, The Baptist Gnostic Christian, let me explain a little bit to you. Let me explain this to you a little bit. Baptist is a form, as a sect of Christianity, which basically follows the discipline of John the Baptist. But also, the Bible speaks of three baptisms, water, fire, and spirit. Gnostic, I found the cipher key to the book of the Revelation in the writings of the Gnostic sect, which is G-N-O-S-T-I-C, not agnostic, but Gnostic. Christian, of course, this is Christianity, as I'm dealing with the biblical information. Eubonic, which is ebony phonics, which is a breakdown of what a certain group of people mean. And I don't necessarily mean African American or Africans or something like that. I'm talking about what was said, for example, when Moses said, Verily I say unto ye, man, let my people go. That's what he said. Bonically, what he said was verily, which means I'm more virile than you. Uh, my obelisk is more erect than your obelisk and tall. Verily I say unto ye, if, well, Moses was supposedly talking to Pharaoh, who was supposed to be God and Carney. So now he's bringing him down to an equal level. He's saying, I'm talking to you. So we're not confused as to who I'm talking to. Which is disrespectful, basically, to speak to God in Carney or a God. Okay. And a God, a God is different than God. Okay. Kundalinian, that's the science of the Kundalini, which is your, your Sarducus coil, which you see is a medical symbol, oh, which is the two serpents wrapped around a pole. For this and all other information that I'm giving you, I'm not giving you any medical advice, I'm not giving you any advice as far as uh, exercise. This is strictly academic. And if there are any exercises that you think are implied or stated or referred to, as you know, first, have a discussion with your physician to see if you qualify. Spiritual, we know what the word spiritual means, not worldly. But it's important that you understand spiritual because I have to do something on. Um, they have a new series out, Hidden Colors. And they're having a discussion on spiritual. And the discussion is worldly. What I mean by that is. 
the spiritual, the spiritual realm, as we are taught, does not operate by the same rules as the physical realm. That's where you get into metaphysics. Metaphysics is above physics, basically theoretical physics. So if I said 50 years ago, I could make a box and you could put raw food in it and then you take the raw food out and it'll be cooked. 50 years ago, it was, that would be in the realm of metaphysics. Now it's in the realm of physics and we call that device a microwave. Kidu, Kidu comes from a martial arts style that I was involved in. The style was called Death Kidu. Death is the destroyer. Ki is the awareness, and Du is the way and meaning not. Hermeneutic, the specialized interpretation of the scriptures. So I just told you. From a Ebonic perspective, what Moses said. There can also be other interpretations of what is being said. And you find this out when you read that Jesus talked in parables. And a lot of times it meant he spoke on many different levels at the same time. So the inverse of the answer can be true based upon the knowledge that the person has who is receiving. You could have elementary school children, middle school children, high school children, college children, all in the auditorium and give an example and they each would see something different based upon their educational awareness and that's what that's talking about so this was a brief introduction and I hope we get further along and I hope I can talk to you about uh, a philosophical term I came up with. It's called spiritual shock. It's on the back of my book here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a nice color. I like the color. Spiritual shock. It's on the back of this book. And spiritual shock is the sudden awareness of the reality the spiritual realm which goes into the meaning of life what is the meaning of life see you shortly have a great day